This painting is called Into Your Hands, and there's some biblical uh, aspect to this uh, coming from my childhood, but it really began with the uh, wars that we've been fighting around the world, uh, the battles that just leave endless help, uh, endless uh, helmets left in, in the graveyards for nothing more than money is what it always seems to be. And how this particular painting uh, came about was, was the things that are happening in Iraq and the things that have been going on in the Middle East, in Palestine, and uh, how people, are, women are just burying their dead and it's sad to see all of this happening for nothing more than money or religion or things like that. And uh, so, there's a Garden of Eden that's in the background of this particular painting that I often think about, you know, that uh, this idealistic world being uh, fragmented by uh, the humanity's uh, problems that we're facing uh, with space being polluted. And, and so this, this particular painting has to do with, with also... Um, where Jesus on the cross in his last period it was on uh, commenting you know he made these comments and his last few things that he said were uh, father into your hands I commend my spirit which is kind of you know saying I've I you know I'm, I'm willing to give up and and pass pass on you know uh, to the next world into the next life but prior to that it, you know he he also said, uh, forgive them for they not, know not what they do. Well, that holds true. There's so much responsibility that we have to create and take care of this planet, and we're not doing that. It's like we don't know what we're doing, uh, you know. And so, so with that, the, the hands on the right are reaching down from this crucified individual at the bottom of the canvas, his hands reaching up towards trying to uh, take care of his responsibilities, take care of the people who are needing him, you know, and at the same time, God's hands are pointing out there's, there's still hunger, there's still homeless, there's still all these things that are, that are going on in this world and uh, that we want to pay attention to. Uh, and on the left, of course, is when he finally holds on to the staff of knowledge and uh, towards the spirit, the bird up in the left-hand corner. But the bird's got a rope around its neck. Our spirit has a rope around its, uh, its neck, and that rope comes from the industrialization of our planet. The, the man holding the rope at the bottom, the chemists that are, that are holding our spirits down. The rope then also swings around and it ties our hands on the, on the left side of the canvas in, you know, in our own suffering. And then that rope is also being held by the bishops or the pope at the bottom, you know, our religious ties that are, that are holding our spirits down. So that's where this particular painting uh, comes from.